Good morning. Guten Tag. It's bright and early. It is. Although the guys on the weed boat were earlier than us because they've already headed down the lock. No. Which is good news for the weed. Well, it's bad news for oh, the weed. Oh, hang on. It's not weed, it's algae. Yeah, but either way, it's the algae boat is bad news for the algae. You know, good news for us. Good news for us. Good news for other boats. It's also not good news for all of the little um, tadpoles that are living there. There's a lot of tadpoles in this. Lots of tadpoles. Hopefully they'll all get washed out to sea and we'll have an invasion of sea frogs. Giant kaiju, very pissed off, looking for blue boats with little knivy bits and just, I said, you're done, laddie. That's the thing with Michael, you just <clears throat> never know where it's going to go. Nope. Never. No clue. Phaser's on stun. So, um... It's a beautiful day. It is. Unfortunately, the sun is, like, right. <laughs> like we are blind right now um, <laughs> even with the sunglasses on I can't see the camera so hopefully uh, we yep. haven't set that up wrong so we're at Osberton Lock we are moving towards works up works up and we're probably going to continue through two Shire Oaks is that what you're thinking yeah I think we will stop briefly at the one location so I can go and and deposit my my economic assistance from the United States <laughs> Which I'm going to turn around and donate to something. We're going that way. <laughs> we are heading to Works Up. Um, the the issue basically is is that once we, we get past the I think it's the sewage pumping plant or the old the, the old Victorian sewage pumping plant, we get into a series of walks that go straight through the center of town, and they're very, from what we've seen, they're sort of very uh, narrowly ensconced between bridges and traffic, and and they're they're you know, just not, there's nowhere really to moor. And we don't really want to be in a town. No, and the first sort of 48 hour mooring up there, based on reviews from other uh, vloggers that we've seen going through there is- Robbie, basically. Basically Robbie, <laughs> is, is not an ideal place to moor. So we'll continue on uh, at least to the- uh, Shire Oaks. Uh, well, at, le at least to the, um, it's that sport people play that looks like baseball, oh. but is much more complicated. Cricket. At least to the cricket field, if not beyond, um, to the, Shire Oaks itself. The real issue is, we don't know what we're going to meet. Are we going to meet branches in the canal? Are we going to meet trees in the canal? Are we going to meet a canal so clogged up with weeds that it takes us two hours to move 100 feet? Hopefully we, not. We don't know what's going to happen on this canal. No, but the good thing is, the weed boat passed us this morning going that way. So the odds are there aren't a lot of weed problems that um, way. But we don't know for sure. <laughs> we'll find out. It's going to be an interesting and magical time. All right, shall we go? Yeah. The first job of the day is a trip down the weed hatch to clear the prop from yesterday. What a lovely morning and some lovely shaded canal. building here is part of the Osburton Hall estate. I think maybe it's the stables. We don't get very far before we start seeing patches of the pesky algae appearing on the surface of the water again. It's not nearly as bad as it was at the forest locks, but it's definitely slowing us down. Horrible, horrible stuff.
remember this morning when we said the algae wouldn't be too bad as the weed boat had just been through? It just seems to be getting worse and worse. Looking on the bright side, it's glorious along here and the sun is shining and we are so grateful to be moving at all. It looks like this poor horse needs some help scratching its itch. Have you ever seen so many tadpoles in a canal? Also, does this mean that when we come back through this way, we're going to meet a stampede of frogs? We must be nearing the outskirts of Worksop. There are definitely some signs of town life. This intricate brick building is part of the Bracebridge pumping station that was built in 1881 as part of Worksop's sewage system. It used two steam beam engines to pump sewage to be processed. Coal for the engines was brought down the canal from the Shire Oaks Colliery. From what I understand, the pumping station's just been sold and it's going to be turned into 24 flats. The large brick building there is Smith's Flour Mill. It seems to have had a modern extension built behind it. These are the official visitor moorings in Worksop, and honestly, they're not very inviting. They are, however, convenient, so we moor up and Michael takes a quick walk to the bank. We don't want to stay overnight here, so we head off again, into possibly the least pleasant lock on the Chesterfield Canal. It's not helped by the fact that the lower lock gates are under the bridge and there's rather a strong smell of urine, as well as a lot of rubbish and other items that have been dumped here. It's 
not long before the canal becomes much more pleasant again, and Michael spots this lovely swan family. The swan parent insists on escorting us out of their territory. All we want it to do is to head back to its family. It's pretty upset with us, hissing loudly as we try and pass. So we stop because we're tired, basically. Yeah. It's not that most ideal mooring. I'm sure there's a nicer one probably just around the corner, but um, this will do. Yeah, we're out of energy. Are we in Rhodesia yet? Uh, I don't believe we've quite made it to Rhodesia. I think we we're just on the outskirts of it. Um, yeah, it's uh, you know pleasant enough little place just outside of Workshop. Yeah, as soon as you leave Workshop Town Centre, it gets like immediately much much nicer even there's like, like a still works tangle out. of roads that all lead to a big superstore industrial state just over uh, this way and there's a big sainsbury's just over this way and we're sitting beside what is usually i think a, a carvery a pub. um well yeah like one of the big chains i think is chain i think i've seen them before I anyway think, big big family restaurant that does a lot of i think there's a hotel just there as well like one of the chain hotels yeah but um, it's not ideal because it's a road and stuff, but yeah. <laughs> but we'll be able to walk Georgia a little bit and it's, you know, not, not a bad location at all. And if we were going to run this completely out of energy, it's definitely better to do it here yeah. than a couple of blocks back yeah. or, yeah, so. Mm, this is good enough. Yeah. Basically, we've just been spoiled. I, I chased a goose for half an hour. That was a like swan swan sorry i just swan for a whole bunch of time that was weird yeah he was like trying to attack the front of the boat he's there with his little goslings this this signets, uh, signets. right <laughs> good lord he was there with his little signets and his wife and uh and there was a gentleman across his like leaning across his fence tossing them food and we came up and the male just was like i'm going to get rid of this boat and he just turns over and starts hissing at the front of the boat and i'm like I don't really know what to do here because the back of me and me the actual potential threat to his signets is actually right there beside his signets and the female's just looking at me like oh you know you just seem to be an attachment on this boat thing <laughs> anyway anyway you chased it for about half a mile before it you moved over and it finally realized you weren't really threatening it and it could go back to his family yeah he turned around and went back to his family so fair enough uh i mean it's the Chesterfield's really nice. Yeah. There's been lots of wildlife, lots of fish. Lots of friendly enormous people. Enormous number of tadpoles. Oh my gosh, did you see them? Yeah, like easily in the millions of tadpoles. All in the weed. I All have a feeling algae. that as we 
if we if we spend enough time up at the top and we turn back, we're just going to be passing through millions of deeply, deeply perturbed frogs. <laughs> Why will they be perturbed? Or toads. Well, because they'll all be looking for mates, and there will be plenty around, but they're all their family. Yeah. It's a real problem. It's uh, clearly, you know, a, a little bit of an off the off the main drag canal. Yeah, I mean, I think it is generally a little bit because you have to come down the Trent to get here. And then obviously no one's been moving for three months. Yeah, apparently we're, the, we're literally the first boat through. And then before that, I doubt many people are moving through winter. So, but I think it's worth it so far. I've loved it here. Yeah, everybody keeps saying, everybody keeps telling us, like, Pretty much everybody that's been up this way, the best is yet to come <laughs> after the big flight of locks. The big flight of locks sounds like a lot of pain, but yeah. I like the idea of getting to better because it's actually been one of my favorite it's been, canals. The whole way, yeah. it's been, there's not been and one. And that's with a pandemic. Yeah, there's not been one area that I thought I, didn't, I wouldn't like. I mean, I only use the center of workshop, and that was just the center because we're still pretty much in workshop now. Yeah. And this is nice. Yeah, no, it was like the space between two locks. Yeah. Maybe, maybe 600 meters of maybe not no, yeah, the place I'd want more just one, because of the number of bars. And one lock that smelled of urine. A <laughs> little bit. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, so yeah, my new favorite canal. Yeah. yeah. And don't get us wrong, we do like other boaters, but it's really nice having a canal to yourself. It really is. <laughs> yeah, so you had quite a bit of weed to push through today, but it wasn't as bad as this stuff on the forest looks no and um but after, it was it was slowing me down but it wasn't like harshly stopping me I'd be or interested, getting wrapped around the prop too much no i'd be interested to see how much is on the prop uh, yeah probably there'll minimal, be some but yeah. it won't be too bad it, this morning it was fairly light it was just funny because um you said oh the weird boat's gone through so it'll be clear no <laughs> not quite <laughs> and the although i think it had done a lot of cutting of the weed on the, the ground yeah. so like the the lower down stuff was gone except for in this one section that really slowed me down yeah um but yeah that meant that there were big free floating clumps and the clumps are are painful if they get across the bow and start slowing me down yeah if cool. if they come That's down the side they're not really a problem but uh <laughs> but you know they don't all go down the side no. so yeah i just i guess we just have to hope that when we go back, it's not any not worse. worse. Yeah. Because that was manageable. I'm so, so far, I'm so glad we didn't turn around and go back and not do this. Oh, me too. I think it's, this was much better. Yeah. It turned out to be only really that kind of section we'd gone through and were so daunted by that was that bad. And that's saying, Some of the two trees that were down, I was gonna that say, happens. We're saying that, and that's, we have two trees that came yeah. down. <laughs> much, so overall, much our review so far, definitely come up the Chesterfield. Come to the Chesterfield. Even with a pandemic, two fallen trees, a clogged up canal due to algae, come here. <laughs> and, and, and a hell of a lot of frogs. It's worth the trip. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that bell if you want to get notifications. Human effort. I should take it off. <laughs> Ooh, God. That's better. Good morning. Yeah, take a look at that. <laughs> look at that mess. Apparently I've gone white, but it's really just I'm I'm massively overexposed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Been yammering on for five minutes and we've accomplished 30 seconds of useful information. This is we, but mainly it's him as you know. Uncensored puppycock. <laughs> Ow. She's <laughs> acting like she's affectionate, but really she's abusive. I don't know where to sit. She hit me. Like six inches to, to her immediate, well, to Joe's, yeah, that way. I'm trying to explain to the camera's position what it's like. Six inches in that general direction is direct sunlight. Right here, we've got a little bit of dappled shade from a Which tree. Which Michael is hogging, like a shade hogger. I'm a, yeah, that's me. Total shade hogger. So. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumb up, comment, thumb up, thumb up. Well done. Yeah. 
Have you ever seen so many ti- have you ever seen so many t- have you ever seen so many tiny com- blah. have you ever seen so many tiny tab no they're not tiny they're just tadpoles as part of worksop sewage system as part of worksop stoop as part of worksop sewage system.